Buds is a brutal six month evolution, but the building of a seal begins before Buds with the recruiting and detailing process. The challenge is finding the right candidate for testing and training. We're looking for the kind of candidate who the words I quit are not a part of any of his daily vocabulary. We're looking for people who are used to pointing out and not looking at how difficult something is, but rather how do I achieve success in this new realm. And this realm here in basic underwater demolition and seal training is very, very unique. We need someone who has led a life up to that point of, of meeting and accepting and achieving every challenge that has been put in front of them throughout their entire life. In the past, Special Warfare limited themselves to a few recruiting up, events throughout the year. This, the teams were finding the men to do the job, but with the and global war on terrorism, the need for special operators has grown. And that's the goal. Now the teams go to more events, such as triathlons, to try to find candidates. Plus, they also search the fleet for sailors who want to be special operators. There's really a special recruiting campaign for SEALs because SEALs are unique individuals. Like anyone who joins the Navy, they're patriots, they're people who want to make a difference. But they also are people who have a very specific background. They are people who are comfortable in the most physically and mentally demanding environments possible. The need for SEALs calls for the need for a very special candidate to join the Navy, someone who can go through the basic underwater demolition and SEAL training program. So ideally that's someone who is an athlete or who has an athletic background. And more importantly, they've got the mental toughness where they know how to put out under very, very difficult circumstances. I, I have got a deep and abiding respect for, uh, for every sailor who comes across my quarter day. Uh, first of all, he has volunteered for, uh, to serve his country during a time of war, and most American men and women are not doing that. Secondly, he is volunteering for BUDS. Uh, that's like volunteering for a two by four across your forehead. Uh, BUDS is hard, BUDS is supposed to be hard, BUDS has to be hard, and they know it coming here. Finally, for those who make it through this program, and most will not, um, they will almost certainly find themselves uh, in combat at close quarters with our enemy and uh, not speaking as a Navy captain but speaking as an American citizen uh, I am profoundly proud that our country continues to produce men of that caliber. Every man who comes to BUDS training has a fair shot of making it. The training is designed to test the man. In order to build stronger teams there's a push to find the best men for the job. The SEALs need and want men from all backgrounds, especially with the environments that SEALs operate in, because it's not where the job is, but about the guys who do it. I knew about it as a young child. I was forced enough to know about it, so therefore I was able to train for it as a young child. And that's what we're trying to do right now, is get it out there. So it's not about the diversity situation, about you know whether you're black or white or whatever. It's about knowing about it, training for the program, and it's about the man. That, that's what it comes down to. What are you made of? For Naval Special Warfare to attract a diverse population of SEAL candidates is the right thing to do. We need to reflect the American public. Most importantly, Naval Special Warfare and the SEAL teams need to be diverse because it's the right thing to do operationally. We need to bring in those people with the cultural and language skills that we can't find among our existing force. Special Warfare has found a way to reach the type of candidates they're looking for. They've introduced the SEAL Fitness Challenge and are inviting all Americans to step up and show their athletic ability. Oh, it's great. It uh, gets people out. It's good for everybody to come out and to see what, you know, what it takes to, uh, to get into the SEAL program. It's a friendly competition. So if like guys in the fleet or whatever want to come out and try it, you know, you and your buddies always are, you know, talking amongst each other, talking smack. America really needs to understand and embrace fitness. And the SEAL physical screening test is a perfect model for anyone to measure their strength and endurance on a SEAL and Navy standard. Who we're targeting in the SEAL Fitness Challenge is really all members of the public, male and female, because we want them to understand the Navy's about fitness. So Special Warfare is going to places where they may find a few diamonds in the rough. That's why the SEAL Fitness Challenge is going to parts of the country like San Antonio, Texas, which has a very large Hispanic population. That's why we're concentrating in Dearborn, Michigan, which has the largest Arab American population in the United States. We believe that by bringing the SEAL Fitness Challenge to those parts of the country where we have very unique ethnic populations, we can expose people from all diverse backgrounds to the opportunity to serve as a SEAL or a Special Warfare Combatant Craft Crewman. When we can attract those folks who have language skills 
and cultural backgrounds that we don't normally find in the SEAL teams, we become a more capable force. Then after recruiters find the right candidates who pass the testing, they, like all other recruits, go to RTC in Great Lakes. However, the candidates go to a special company made up solely of special warfare candidates. It's designed to foster a sense of teamwork from day one. All Hands Television will be back with a look at SEAL qualification training after this message.